Hello guys and gals and welcome back to City Skylines. We're on the map of Vanilla Lake playing in the city of Lakefield with no mods and today's I'm Buddy 1927 and today in this episode we are going to do part two of how to make money for your city. This is going to be the farming industry. So that's Get right into it. Okay, guys. As soon as there's some freezes, there we go. And I, I, I apologize right now for the lag. As you can see right now. There we go. We got it finally cleared up. But um, by next month, I'm hoping to have a brand new computer that will take care of this lag. Okay. In today's episode, in part one of this series, we went ahead and set up the infrastructure for our oil industry here and our farming industry here. And today we're going to set up the um, farming industry. So let me just double check, make sure we got, yep, we got everything out in districts. Yeah, we got our districts here and there. That's good. Actually, I'm just going to bring this district out here a little bit further. And I'm just going to bring it down here. Okay, that work. Okay, what we are going to do next is click on our farming. Before we can do anything with farming, we have to put down farming main building. Okay, and what I'm going to do is put that right here as you enter. It has to be in the same district that you're working in. Excuse me for one second. Sorry guys, I had a sneeze there. Okay, um, and as you can see we got our first stage of our farming. We got small silos, small animals, small crop fields, and small fruit fields, and muscle we're not going to be using that because we're not you know, we are close to a body of water but we're not going to be using it that much um what i'm going to do next is i'm going to start laying out a couple of roads and we are going to use the small industrial road okay guys what we are going to do is use the small industrial road i'm going to come right off the roundabout here straight out to about there and we are going to set up a yeah, small crop field. And we're going to go right here. We're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. We're gonna put ten fields right there, and I'm just gonna take the small road again. Oops. Small industrial road. And let's divide it right down there, and then run the small road right here. about there okay now we need to run some water which I forgot to run out here I keep on forgetting I don't have that electric road mod see it's hard to do this without mods Okay, and we should have power out to there now. Come on. Okay, we got power out there. So what we got now is we got 10 crop fields. Let's go back to this. Oh, 
no, let's go back to this. I'm going to go ahead and change that to from potatoes to corn. It really doesn't matter. It's all the same stuff, but um, I was like using corn because we are going to have a couple small um, cow pastures. As soon as we get this all set up. Okay, we got these all set up to corn. And the only reason why I'm doing that is still crops. The only reason why I'm doing that right now is because is because I am going to be setting up a couple fields here. So I'm going to take the small industrial road again and I'm going to run it right up the side of the office building. And I'm going to take a two-way, one-way, two-lane, one-way yeah, road and just do this for right now. Go up to here, go up to here, and down to here. And we'll go back to our farm. And I'm going to put a silo right there. That's where the corn is going to be put in. And while we're here, I'm going to run back. And we're going to actually do... Oh, that's not going to... Yeah, okay. We're going to do two small, um, um, two small cow pastures. And what that will do is once the crops here get in here... Um, they're going to be stored in this silo here. Okay, we became a small city, so let's see what we got unlocked here. We got monorails. We have new buildings. Oh, we got trains. Cargo. Cool. That worked out perfectly. Okay. All right, we got some new items, but get back to our farming. So once the crops get um, grown and they need to be harvested, the crops need to come here to feed the um, cows that we got here. And we can have cows, pigs, sheep, and highland cows, but we got regular cows. Oh, we don't have any right now because we don't have any crops there for them to feed, but once we get food in here, the cows will end up being in here. And they, um, oh yeah, let me go back to this. Here, here comes the, here comes the truck that's going to the silos. And the reason why I'm doing this is so traffic won't back up too bad. And I am kind of running this on slow motion. But um, once this gets crops and cows, it starts making animal products. And you can set your um, crops, your silo to balance, fill, or empty. I keep mine at balance so once it gets filled, all the excess can actually go right onto the highway to be sold. As long, and any access will also go to the cows right now. Cows right now to start making the animal products. I don't think we've got anything else. Uh, I'm just going to check the warehouses. Oh, we do have warehouses. Warehouse yard. And let's stick it right there. And we're going to click on this. And we're going to collect. We're going to click on animal product, so that way we'll have some in storage. Once this thing gets filled up, you can see other trucks coming from the highway now, going to fill up, either go feed our thing, fill up our. Yeah, they're going to fill up our silos right now, so that's costing us money. But eventually it will actually make us money. Because the quicker this gets filled, 
these get filled and this warehouse gets full, the products then will automatically go out on the highway to be sold. And that's where you start making your money. Okay, there's, while we're still growing, this is our main farmhouse. These are our silos. You can see that the silos are filling up pretty good. They have plenty of crops and they're making animal products. Uh, we have nothing stored yet in this. But if we check the farm itself, which, oh, we just came at a level two, which is good. And now we can start making a bakery. That's good, but we we can start processing flour now. We can start um, have bakery. We can put a house for farm workers. We can have a cattle shelter, a small barn, a go nuts workshop. Yay! Let's go nuts and a larger. Uh, flower mill so we'll click OK but you click on your thing now we're level 2 you can see you can um, you have the basic information which tells you your products and what is being imported right now green is yours and the other stuff is your import which is costing you $480 uh, 480 hundred dollars we are not sold anything yet so we're losing 800 we're losing roughly 840 dollars in profit we are level two uh, next level we have to we have to produce more resource resources until we get to 1500 and we need 350 workers and right now we got 212 um, and here we go again size cell it tells you we need 300 more workers so we need a total of 650 workers and the upkeep right now is $360 per week so one thing that we need we can do is provide housing for our um, laborers. So let's scoot down here. And they're not they don't take up much space. So we can put one here and one here. So that also gives us a bonus, but it also gives us a, a place for workers to stay and you can see right now we're up to 110 percent in efficiency and this holds each barracks holds 40 workers so right now we got 13 14 in that one and we got eight in that one so this helps us to actually increase our um workforce on the farm okay the next thing that we i'm going to do right now is just extend this extend this out okay and i'm going to go ahead and add where is it there it is i'm going to go ahead and add uh, actually, I'm going to change districts a little bit. I'm going to... Come on. Yeah, I'm just going to make this all farming right here. So it gives us a little bit more room to work. Even though there is oil there, I, I want this as farming right now. So what I'm going to do now, next, is... Um, we got these cattle barns that's going to produce more we're going to put two of them here 
and that's going to produce that's going to produce more animal products. And we are going to actually back to that. Next, we're going to do. I'm going to do. We got two um, flour mills. One that I picked up off the Steam Workshop that I'm actually going to use. Is that the flour mill? Yeah. This produces more flour overall. So. We're going to do this. We're going to put two of them right here. Oops, I screwed up. I should not have closed that. And then we'll go ahead, go to our warehouse, and we'll go ahead and put our warehouse yard right there, and we'll put flour. So all the flour that's produced would be right here. And we are going to add. 10 more farms, but this time, uh, 10 more um, fields. But now we got wheat, we got more crops being produced. So, what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to extend this out so we can take this road. Get right there and let's bring that road right there. So we got our farm growing. But as you can see, my fields are over here. And my processing plants are over here right now. Now I do have the two factories, but I, eventually I want to set up the factories either over here, buy this and then make this a city, but maybe have the factories over here. I haven't decided yet where I'm going to build the factories. I can always move the factories, so I tell you what, let's go ahead and go back to there. We'll go ahead and put our two small factories because they take um, they take flour and they take flour and animal products and I tell you what let's just extend this road all the way up to here and as you can see they're, they're getting some of the products here now they get they got flour because it was in the warehouse. So before the warehouse gets filled, they will fill up this area. See, this got crop. This got animal products, crops, and flowers. That's what this needs. Same thing as this. This doesn't have the crops yet. And what I'm going to do is set up another warehouse right here. And this is going to be. Animal products, paper, that's produce. Unique, uh, yeah, this will be unique factory. Yeah, luxury items and pastries. So that should be stored there. And we need water. Why do we need water? Because you didn't cover that section, buddy. Oh, that's a good reason. Don't worry, I always lose arguments to, to myself. But you can see this is this is growing. Now we got we got a factory processing right now. It's making pastries, and that will be distributed around the town. And the excess will be sold, which will make us money. That does not count as part of the farming. Just to let you know. So when we take a look at our farming. Okay, now we are import. We we do not import anything, so 
we're ma actually making money. Right now we're making $3,472. This from um, these three products. Because they sell that to the factory. They sell the, the process to the factory, the products to the factories. Sell that, um, they sell the, the products to the factories to, and then the factories themselves will actually make money. Oh, we made it to level three. So now we have a lemonade factory, a milk, milk parlors, which that produces um, animal product fields produces crops. We got a Coca-Cola factory and a Bex factory. And we can now process seafood. So that's good. Click OK. But get back to this. Um, the factories buy the, pro uh, the products from the farms and then they produce the, luxury, the um, items that will go to the warehouse and be distributed throughout the city and what doesn't get through distributed throughout the city will be sold so let's go to our budget <sighs> budget there we go um, we'll go to this one down here okay you can see right now we're making a profit of eight hundred and fifty four dollars and 96 cents from the farm our factories which hasn't produced any product yet to sell we're losing 796 so right now we're only making 166 dollars which isn't bad luckily our city we have our city set up to where it's actually making money but once this starts going and the farm gets bigger you will see a lot more money increase. If I didn't set up factories, we'd be roughly making uh, 900 plus dollars right now. But right now we're making $16. And you will see this fluctuating back and forth. That is how the farming industry will make you money. Uh, factories make you more money because they sell final products at a higher price. The farms, the farm itself right now is producing animal weight, uh, animal products such as uh, milk, meat, uh, fat, grease, stuff like that that's used in your pastries and stuff like in your in the two factories that we have right now. So that will help us out in the long run. that's the basics um i'll continue growing this farm up to a level five and i'll show you what we have done since then uh our next up our next part will be the oil industry and that's that's a different industry so i'll show you the basics of setting that up and getting it running and as you can see let me just show you something real quick i'm thinking about it. yeah we'll do it from this view Hey, come here. There we go. This is my. This is where my product, my resources are. Is it should be in this yellow area, right here, which eventually probably will. But you see, my processing plants and even my factories are not in that area right there. It doesn't have to be. Not even the cows or the barns even the milk parlor because this grows the food the, the resources that then is processed into what it needs like the wheat comes goes here the corn goes to the cows and so on so that's how it's basic uh, a basic food chain and then supply and demand so that's our, that's your basic simple farming industry. So next episode we'll do the oil industry. 
and the following episode we'll do probably um, we'll probably do the coal and then we'll do the forestry and then we'll go ahead and set up a factory area we'll move these two factories right here um, to get that going so I'd like to thank you all for watching um, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos that I do come along. Also, um, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Maybe like gets my video seen a little bit more on YouTube. I would really appreciate that. And as always, have fun playing your games. Welcome Be safe out in the world. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.